Now, today it's looking very interesting. As you can see, there's a lot of parts there. I'm going to be doing set 3180, which is the uh, octane fuel truck and Bowser. But as you can see, there's two separate things there. I actually have two of these sets, so I'm going to make up both of them for the display. And uh, it's taken a while to get all these pieces together because some of them are very small and trying to find them all in the sets, which are sitting over there. So trying to get them all out and get everything all set up, ready to go. Well, it was a bit of a feat, but got there in the end. So hopefully they're all there. I've had a good look through and made sure they're all sitting there. So some very interesting pieces in this one. Like the little gauges, trying to find that. And the... Uh, Bowser itself, the little FPOS machine. So one set is sort of missing something. The uh, hose reel is missing the hose off it. But we will make do. And if I find it later on, I can add it on. It'll be quite easy to add on. As you can see, it's sitting there. So I'll... Uh, get into it so we'll uh, do a bit of a hyperlapse on this one again seems to be the uh, the faster hyperlapse seems to be the one that's more enjoyable so I'll do 60 times again so we can actually get the uh, builds done so it's gonna take a little while for me but for you guys it'll probably be about a minute and these should be all put together and we'll have a couple of fuel tankers sitting there ready to fuel up so, I'll have a few chunks of this first. Nice giant freckle. And get into it. Alright. So, as all good builds should start off with, we need to do the minifigs. And yes, we even have the minifigs. So, uh, work them together. And we, uh, one minifig. Two mini figs because of course they've got to give us a hand to put it all together all righty let's get into it Okay, I thought I'd stop the uh, hyperlapse there for a second. You probably, I don't know if you pick it up in there or not because it's going so quick, but I've had to stop and this is taking a little bit longer than what I've expected. Um, the simple thing is when you're rebuilding a set like this that has been built already, they come with stickers. Now I've picked out these ones pretty simple because I know that the octane truck's got all them written all over it sort of thing. But the one thing that I did not register and pick up was that when it says these little bits, it actually meant the ones with the number plates already on them. So I've had to go back into the grey set and uh, dig out all of these bits, uh, the number plates on here, the dark grey ones, and apparently there's a light grey one, and then I've just found out that there's the dark grey long one as well, so I've had to go and find them. Now, when I was digging through, I did actually happen to uh, dodge them, thinking, oh, I don't want them, but I did want them. Now, 
another little fun fact that this one here has got JM3180 as its number plate. They're not random little numbers. Apparently, I'm not too sure about the numbers. That means something. Um, the actual, oh, hang on, is that the actual set number maybe? What did I say the set number was? 3180, there you go, it's the set number. And the JM is actually one of the master builder's initials who designed this from what I've seen on a lot of videos and that. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but JM is actually normally the initials of the person that's done the set and then the set number. So that's not a random little number that they picked up. Um, I did find another one. It had DM and then the set number. So realistically, when you're digging through and you know the set number that you're doing and you happen to find a sticker that's got the set number on it, it more than likely is going to be part of the set that you're doing. So to give you an idea and another look at the sleeping Digby. That's a gray sorting area down there at the moment. So I've left it out now because I've had to go back into it at least three times trying to find it. And I've still got another big box of other Lego that I have not finished sorting through. And I thought I'd actually gone and got all of these pieces and I couldn't find it in my green section. So I've had to go off into this separate box, which I thought I'd already looked through before. And I've actually found that piece that I needed and this piece which I happened to actually raid from a game set that I've got, a Lego game set. So I'll actually go and put that back in because it belongs in there. So yeah, let's get back into the hyperlapse and uh, we'll get these trucks finished. This one here is so excited, so excited about this. So I'll pop you back down on there. And uh, we'll get back into the hyperlapse. Hopefully it's enjoying. All right, so I'll bring you down and have a look. So that's the truck, the actual prime mover. Now you probably saw at the end of the uh, hyperlapse there, I pulled it all apart again to put it back together again. Because I'm in Australia, and in Australia, we drive on the right-hand side. Our steering wheel is on the right-hand side. So I've converted it over to be an Australian truck. Being a truck mechanic myself, and doing build-ups and all that sort of stuff, I thought it's only too right to do that. What I do like is they've actually got the red and the yellow. We actually use uh, red and blue over here, but red and yellow um, taps on the back here for the airlines to come out to join onto the trailer. I don't think this set actually has the airlines that join it across. But having the two different views from each angle like that gives you a bit of an idea. Quite a neat looking little truck. And then we're going to be onto the... Uh, the tanker. So I'll get these two out of the way and we'll get the uh, tankers going. Here we go. There's uh, one truck there, and as you saw the other truck there, I had a sticker there, had an extra sticker on one of the tanks for some reason. I love these little setups, they've even got the little landing legs that drop down and hold the trailer there, so when it comes off it doesn't tip down. Great little set, well made and very solid. So if the uh, kids want to actually get out there and play with them and all that sort of stuff, really cool. Even down to the point that in the actual 
toolbox. Now the wedges for the wheels. Probably don't really fit on there that well, but yeah. Give you the idea. Some wedges so that the uh, or wheel chocks if you want to call them that. They fit into the toolbox there. And I flip the, the doors around because the doors should always face to the back so that when it's driving they should swing themselves closed if they forget them. And then on the other side, this one here's got the hose and even the uh, the lever there which is to operate the trailer brakes so that when they're fueling up the trailer brakes all come on and it can't get pulled away. So it makes it nice and safe. And as I said before, turn them into the uh, Australian version so they're driving on the correct side for us. Now, good little book and it's the old style book where they don't really tell you which pieces are coming along. You just go ahead and work out what's been added to it sort of thing which is really good. The only thing in the back if you're doing a parts catalogue as I said before is to make sure that stuff like the, uh, the ones that are meant to have the number plates on there and all that, they don't actually list them in there. I'll point to the right one. So they just say this part here, and uh, this one doesn't actually list a sticker list either. But the one thing that did trip me up a little bit is this one here, which actually looks like that because it's in the yellow section. Well, it's not. They're actually transparent ones, but this actually has a transparency section. So these are all transparent ones, so that should have actually been a yellow version in here, not in there so i had to quickly race off and exchange these yellow ones for the other yellow ones because they're actually the uh indicators on the front of the truck so yeah we've got the two fuel bowsers here as i said before it's got the uh f post machine there the actual literage and how much you've got the hose comes off and you can actually fuel up your car do 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 so I like this little set as I said before now I actually have the two of them set up and they can go on to the uh, display area which I'll probably show you one day when I get around to having it all set up properly and these have even got the little ladder for them to climb up the back to get up and check the uh, different tanks. So there's one, two, three, four, five tanks in here. So there'll be five compartments inside here on a real truck. So yeah, set number 3180 in the city sections, as you can see. Very well done. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. And we'll see how we go for the next one.